Hello, I'm Norman Burton from vtechnical.ca. I'm going to introduce our new VFD trainer, and this is going to be the first in a series of videos related to training with this VFD trainer, brand new unit. So uh, just, just first off, separate inverter rated motor with a custom made flywheel for a high inertia load for uh, conducting braking labs and doing uh, catch on the fly and catch a spinning load. Um, over here, uh, I'll show you on the back of the trainer unit, we have a braking resistor. And again, that's for the, for the braking load, uh, braking labs that we're going to be doing with the uh, high inertia flywheel load. Uh, the braking resistor has a built-in uh, temperature switch, which ties into the master control relay circuit. I'll get into that again in, in a minute. Um, disconnect switch on the side, lockable for maximum safety. So we can use that for training lockout and tagout. Um, I'll quickly open up the enclosure and go over some of the features. And we'll talk about some of the operator devices after that. You're going to notice when I open the enclosure, there's a click. That click is a safety rated limit switch, which is interlocked with the master control relay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's a temperature switch that's built into the braking resistor that's also interlocked to the master control relay. So if the resistor overheats for whatever reason, if we're doing a lot of braking or um, for, for whatever reason, if there was a malfunction in the circuit, we would be protected through that thermal switch. Okay, so that's our master control relay circuit. Inside the enclosure, we have a terminal strip where we configure all of our projects. So two wire control, three wire control, analog speed control, digital speed control, selector switch for, for jog uh, functions and so on. Numerous, numerous functions. Also, we use it for interlocking between other drive units. So we can tie this drive unit to another uh, drive unit for training. Um, we can have a, a variable speed pump and a fixed speed auxiliary pump and we can tie the two together and operate them. We have a, on the side of the unit, we have provisions for a connector and a cable. This is a NEMA 12 sealed uh, KO filler. So you take that KO filler out, you put a connector in there, and we cable between two drives or other devices like an ultrasonic sensor or other control device. So I'll close it up. I'll go over some of the operator devices on the front. Flip over to this side. So we have this operator plate. We have an analog potentiometer. So it's a 10K Pot, heavy duty, typical potentiometer found in industry for controlling the speed of a drive. We have a four position binary coded switch used for digital speed control. So we'll get into that in the labs. A selector switch, two position for two wire control circuits. So it, it would simulate a, uh, a pressure switch, temperature actuated switch, um, and, uh, any device like a for example, a float switch, you know, act, active on and deactive. On, 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 so close on rise, fall, uh, open on fall. We have a normally close stop button, normally open forward, normally open reverse for our three wire control circuits. So we, that, that type of circuit you would use for machinery like saws, mills, lathes, uh, any metal working equipment or any, any equipment that would pose a hazard, we need to set it up using that three wire control and we will get into that in, 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 the, in the, these labs and in these videos. We have a programming port that we're gonna use to program using a cable uh, interface with a PC. Uh, it's a very uh, reliable, stable software from Schneider for setting up the drives. Uh, very user friendly. It's probably the most user friendly software I've ever used in industrial controls. We'll be getting into that in videos, later later videos. Uh, there's a little pilot light right here. That pilot, that pilot light will be on once you connect your uh, control circuitry that interfaces with the drive. So now I'm just gonna talk about the drive and then we'll move on to some other videos and get into the training aspects of it. The drive is an ATV12 variable speed drive 120 volt input 230 volt three phase output it has three different operating modes now it has a lot of control functions and i can't talk about them all in this video the three operating modes main operating modes are pump mode which is a variable torque mode so pump and fan 
So uh, you can program it to that, it will save energy. So if you're driving a pump and it has a variable torque characteristic to it, you, it would be very beneficial to set that parameter in motor control. The other type of control is what's called standard mode or scalar mode. Uh, a lot of you may be familiar with the term volts per hertz. It uses that volts per hertz ratio. It scales the voltage of the motor and the frequency of the motor and uses it through the operating range of the motor. And lastly, the third one, third mode is what's called performance mode. So we can set it to performance mode. Performance mode is, is, is uh, what they call constant torque. Now constant torque is used in metal turning, uh, metal cutting, um, crushing, um, extruding applications where you need a constant torque through the whole operating range of the motor. Okay, so that's the three different modes that we can set up in this drive and then set it up for two wire or three wire control, variable speed, multiple speed, analog, jogging, you name it. And we will get into that in, in the videos. Okay, so that's about it. And uh, next video we'll go over the master control relay circuit, setting it, setting it up. It's very important to know that this e-stop button, the standard has to be a maintained operation. And once it's activated, it has to hold in that position. To release this one, you have to twist it. All right, so if you operate the emergency stop to release it, you have to twist. So it's a twist to release emergency stop button. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again.